Hi, welcome to the Kudu game. It's fun to learn coding. Let me show you this by playing an output, a game that is already made. Here I have a game called Apple Hunt. Let's go ahead and play this. Whoa, I am the green Kudu. Who eats the apple first? Ten apple is the winner. Oh, game over. So the um, red uh, Kodu ate 10 apples. I only ate three, the green Kodu. So I lose. Let's play again. Go. Ooh, yummy, yummy apple. Let me eat all of them. Yes, this time the green code won, just by a margin of one. Okay, so would you like to learn how to make this come very quickly and enjoy it? Let's go to the uh, home here and say exit to main menu and I want to create a new world. This is your new world. You are the owner and the master of it. This is the land that you have. You can zoom in and out, drag your land around, Spin it around the way you like. Let's begin our work on this. Let's landscape the land that we have and we can use this land brush. Oh, this brush is too big. Let's make it smaller and we can just by left mouse click, click add the land. We can add land of different types, different textures. Let me pick this one. Here again, I'm adding some land, a lot of land. I can zoom back and with my right click, I can also remove land. Let's put it back. I can change the land brush. Well, let's pick this one to create some parts inside and you can make it as interesting as you like. You can also decide to raise some part of the land. Let's make it small brush to make some hills. There you go. So the Kodu will have interesting time going around different buildings. You can even use this command here to lower the height that you have created. Once this is done, you can look at your handiwork by spinning around the view. Again, left mouse button, uh, right mouse button to orbit the camera, left mouse button to drag the land, and you can always zoom in and out. F4 to center the camera. Let's tilt it a little. There you go. This is where your kodus are going to hunt the apples. Your land is prepared. Okay, let's get some characters in this game now. Well, kodu himself, and there you click on the icon below, uh, take note below. Cl click on the land that you have created. Select kodu. Hello, there is the kodu. You can change the size of this if you like make it a little bigger. Well, this is a shy Kodu. Let's ask it to turn around and face us. There you are. Say hello. You can change color of this Kodu if you like. Let's make it red. And you notice it is hanging above the ground. We can change height. We can bring it down if you like. Well, we need another Kodu. So let's go ahead and click here again and put Kodu. There is your second Kodu. Similarly, let's bring him down, turn him towards us through the rotate command, and there you go. You can see it now, or let's put it here. What color would you like? You can make this. Let's make this go to green. Make it a little bigger. Change size. Well, if that's big enough, maybe slightly smaller. There you go. It's still hanging above the ground, so I'm going to bring it down. Now, these are hungry kodus, okay? So, we need to put apples for them, a lot of apples. After all, this is an apple hunt game. So, right-click on the landscape, add object, select apple. Congratulations. This is your first apple. Let's put some more, one by one. 
A lot of them, these are voraciously hungry kudus. All right, now on to the interesting part of coding. Let's start programming our kudus to go and hunt for apples. So we want our kudu when it sees an object that is apple to move towards it. And when our kudu bumps against that apple, which is an object, well, we want it to eat it. That's the idea. Also, when our kudu bumps against apple, which is the object, we want it to count it. Remember, this is a game. And this is green kudu. So that the count is given to the right player. We also want to uh, finish the game once the count is reached to 10. So let's look for the green one. Is equal to number 10. At that point, the game ends with the green kudu as the winner. Let's do the same for our red kudu. Now, the red kudu, we want it to move slightly differently. We want it to move by the keyboard arrows. Um, but yes, we want it to move and we want it to move quickly. Again, when the kudu uh, bumps into the object of interest, which is the apple, what else? We want it to aid it. And we want it to count. And when it bumps into that apple, we want it to count, but this time in the red score. And also, once the red score has become equal to number 10, the game is ended with red kudu, the winner this time. Great. So we are all set to do our first testing of our programs. Right. So let's test the program we have uh, coded so far. We switch into the play mode and the Kodu takes over. You can see the green Kodu is already clocking up bytes and I'm using keys as per the program to move the red Kodu and there you go. So the green Kodu, which is a computer, uh, clocked in 10 bytes of ample and won the game compared to the red one, which was moved by me using the keyboard as we had programmed. Let's play the game one more time, right? So click on this. This time we'll be more nimble. And there you go. Yay! This time the red one won. Uh, the one which was driven by me using keyboard over the computer, which is a green one, um, uh, the green Kodu. So great, our program is working. The game is working. Uh, let us make it a little more interesting by adding a few more characters. Uh, so for example, I could add a tree, uh, maybe this type, oh, it's too big. I change the size to a much smaller one, uh, locate it uh, maybe here, uh, bring the kodu back here, and maybe one more tree. This time of a different type, reduce the size, then put it somewhere behind. There you go. Oh, I can also put different type of uh, objects. For example, this stone, which I can grow in size. So let's keep it here. Uh, maybe one more stone somewhere here. Add object, uh, stone, sedimentary. Okay, and I'm going to increase uh, its size to much bigger one. Uh, we can also um, blend this in and make the impact by adding um, code, new lines of code in uh, Kodu's program. So we want 
Kodu, whenever it uh, sees a tree, an object, which is basically a tree, we want it to move so as to avoid the tree. Yes, it can do that. Uh, also, when uh, the Kodu bumps into a object which is a stone, a sedimentary stone, uh, we want it to um, actually express uh, that it got hurt. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, right, so we have put that in the green Kodu. Let's very quickly put these lines into uh, red Kodu also. So when red Kodi uh, sees a object, which is a tree, uh, it moves so as to avoid bumping into the tree. Also, this Kodu as well, when it bumps into an object, which is a stone, sedimentary stone, this Kodu is different. It gets angry. <laughs> Right. All right. We are ready. Let's quickly save this um, in our world. Right. Save it. And then we can now go ahead and play. Right. Um, so again, there we go. Ready. OK. My red Kodu is eating. OK. When it bumps and hits. Oh, wow. It was fast. Red Kodu won. So this brings me to the end of this uh, video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, putting all these together. The options and choices are limitless. Uh, well, you can increase the number of uh, apples could you have to eat to win, then the game will be last longer. You can put more obstacles and program Kodus to react to those obstacle. Enjoy these limitless uh, opportunities and possibilities here to build games, which will give you endless great enjoying time. Good luck and thank you for watching.